And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 and we're going to do a couple little side quests and then we're going to do the main ending for Cyberpunk 2077 and then eventually we'll do Phantom Livery DLC. So make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, I figure we start working on this series and get this one killed off. And then I can go over to Fallout 4 and then eventually get that one killed off. And then we can start playing a different game because it's got to get boring seeing the same stuff over and over again. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gonk thing like that. She gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly? thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. <laughs> it's you. You talked to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? For crying out loud, Mendez. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. Think he's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Got no idea. Ask him yourself. You fucking bet I will. His little temper tantrum must be over if he spilled to you. Only thing I don't know is whether to give him a taste of my fist or a shot of Boomalon. Thanks for your help. Best is for your trouble.
Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah, blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. I feel like such a gunk now. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right, gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some me? cardio! If you've got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Ha! 
happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two-pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy, for real? No, don't want to hear it. But you uh, uh, uh. not a word. Uh, uh, uh. V, everything okay? V, v you don't. You don't. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You like sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. I know she dabbled in robotics. 
Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. And I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Fucking asshole! I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mendez, it's too late. He can't hear you. Your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. Make sure you're I'm so I'm so sorry, Barry. I Sorry.
Claire, hey. Finals upon us, V. Big day's here. Sure is. Wanna meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast. Beast's my choice. What do you say? We won't be sorry. You meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. Samson. Get away from me, you whack. No remorse? Not a bit? None whatsoever. Claire, drop it. Leave the corporal rat alone. Think you'll leave her alive, asswipe? Claire! This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. Claire, stop it! We got a race coming up, damn it! You're done! Fuck off. Claire, come on. Save some steam for later. Not to worry, sugar. Do something for me, B. Yeah? Give come you in close on his tail and stay afterwards. there. Bring some friends. We'll celebrate! If you win today, we gon' take you straight to paradise, monkey! Okay, folks, get to your rigs! Time to crush some steel and bash some heads! Everyone ready? Three, two, one! Drop that gun off!
take the wind out of his sails. Get on his spot. Sakes. Please let me go! Talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? He's just trying to save his skin. No, please, don't let her. I didn't kill her husband. I said shut your hole. Claire, wait. I want to hear him out. <sighs> what for? What do you got to say, Simpson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control. You rammed us! Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing. Is that true, Claire? Samson did what anyone would do? It doesn't matter. The bastard killed Dean. He has to pay for it. What do you want from me? You killed... like everyone. Claire, it was an accident. It's racing. I loved him. Loved him more than life itself. And now I'm supposed to let this... this... I'm supposed to let this shit go? That what you expect? Yes, Claire. You'll let him go. Ha! <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. Might be a great A Corpo shit, but he didn't murder Dean. Flatlining him won't make you feel any better. You might be right, V. Thank God. But I don't give a shit. Wait, no! Your husband wasn't the saint you think! Pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, don't think I feel anything. Any desire to do it again? Team up for a race. I mean. No, V. In fact, not gonna race ever again. Ever. Ever. That was something we had. Something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson. Me and Dean. But since we are no more, take care, V. And watch those turns, or you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost.
Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? <laughs> I mean, guess we could chat about the weather or debate where they serve the best ramen. All the same to me, but... <laughs> Fair enough. To business it is. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain, too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Cream, do it after the conference. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. 
You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any interest in Zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your Your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. I speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. No. Seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? No. But it could have. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Oh, well, well. thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging. Got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat.
Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. You, River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hun. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's menfo to him. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. A view. Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho muting meds, too. You better check it out. Okay. of any detective's job is talking. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on.
idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. You Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tank over on the other side. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Petar Horva. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These speeches? What did he have to say? Ryan, if Corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air-dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Gentlemen, gentlemen, chill, please. <laughs> <laughs> Jump, clown! Jump! I'd handle it. Walk in the streets with you? <laughs> Downright unsafe. Gotta be... Got somewhere else to be. Walk in the streets with you? <laughs> Downright unsafe. Gotta beef with all gangs or just the tigers. I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video.